The European Space Agency just received confirmation that lander craft Philae touched down on a comet. Bruce Willis, Ben Affleck, Owen Wilson, and the Aerosmith daughter, they're all like, Pfft. Been there, done that. Maybe not the daughter, but you know what I mean. My name's Michael McCrudden, talking to you about another giant leap for mankind, here for you on IO. Before I jump into this history-making news story, I need to tell you about our new channel. It's titled IO2, and it has more of what you love. Multiple news stories in each and every video. A link to that is in the description box down below. Now let's get back to the news. The world's first comet landing, which is quite an accomplishment if you think about it. I still struggle with double parking. Just a couple minutes after 8 a.m. Pacific time, 11 a.m. Eastern, touchdown had been confirmed after a seven-hour descent. Descent from where, you might be asking? The landing craft Philae, which is named after an ancient Egyptian island, it detached from a bigger ship named Rosetta and went after its target. The comet, which is known as 67P Shubuk. Editors, help me out. Yeah, that's what it's known as. This thing is 300 million miles away. The comet's gravity is weak, so to prevent it from bouncing back up into space, the landing craft fired its upward pointing thrusters for about 15 seconds right after touching down. It also shot out harpoons into the comet's surface, anchoring the spacecraft to the ground. An update has just come in. It has been confirmed that Philae's harpoons did not fire. It is not attached to the ground. Uh-oh, this could be a bumpy ride. It's like getting on a roller coaster without buckling in. Philae will begin a series of automated commands to begin taking scientific data. The sequence, which runs on battery power, will continue for two and a half days. The lander's 10 instruments will take pictures, analyze the chemical compounds of the comet, drill for samples, and study the comet's magnetic field. Now, comets are as old as the solar system. There's a lot astronomers can learn. They actually believe that they may have brought things such as water and the seeds of life to planet Earth. That is really exciting stuff, and I thought Aerosmith was cool. If you want more information on this story, be sure to check out the links down below. My name is Michael McCredden, and let me know. Are you one of those people that want to take a trip out to space? Let me know if that's you in the comments down below. And why? Why do you want to go there? I heard there's not a lot of breathing. Itty bitty breathing space.